you want to start and say who you are and what you do in the band? Yes. I'm Andrew and I sing in the band Broadside. I'm Ollie and I play drums in the band Broadside. I'm Niles and I play drums in the band Broadside. I'm Dorian and I do nothing but sing all the time. Cool, so today is your last day at Warped Tour. How was your first Warped Tour? It's awesome. Amazing. Tan lines at the wazoo! I'm feeling good. I'm feeling kind of like proud, you know? I wasn't proud until we finished. It's like. We did it, Mom. It's like finishing a marathon. It's like that. I was like, dude, of all the things that could have went wrong, it did. But yes. Cool. So. You had your band breakdown, like, or RV, I guess. Yeah. Like, two or three days into Warp Tour? Yeah. Uh, day four. Tomorrow. Uh, and you guys couldn't play Nashville, but you did an acoustic on Periscope. Why was it so important to you guys to, like, still do something for everyone in Nashville? It just makes me feel like if I spent money on something and I was looking forward to seeing someone. Not everybody gets the opportunity to go to club tours and club shows. Like you know, we have a lot of younger fans that get to come out to work tour. So I was like, well, they have the internet, and if they want to tune in and they just want to see us, and, and even though anyone can watch it, I just wanted to make it very clear that it was because we missed uh, Nashville. So I really was like, hey, because at the end of the day, it's about the music. We want to give this to you. This little, you know, window of uh, acoustic um, reserved broadside. And so it was like the best we could do in that moment. And, last minute and uh, it's just important to know like you're appreciated it's not our fault it's not their fault but we appreciate you we're literally talking about us on the internet so that's why so a place to lay your head is the first song on old bones just having like a meaningful song be first like put a tone to your album like is that how you wanted it to yeah i think we all kind of agree that we just wanted to just to be like boom you know like the first thing i must have been a bird in the first hours of my life that's like Oh, this motherfucker got some daddy issues. <laughs> and then right off the jump, it's just kind of like, either people can be like, ah, I like EDM. Or they're about to be like, let's see why this guy's broken. I feel like that's an important thing with any record, you know? So you guys got signed to Victory just over a year ago. How's the year been being signed? It's been unbelievable. We've uh, started basically with no expectations. And then uh, just seeing the growth kind of snowball. So you guys seem to like go from having like small following to like out of nowhere everyone like just <laughs> everyone knew who Broadside was. Um, uh, do you think having so many people like show up to your shows like has it like just happened over Warp Tour or did you like notice from like tours it went from like people coming out early to like everyone was there early? It was weird because it was like yeah we, just, we have literally played the two people. Like everybody says that we literally have played the two I've played it just band. We've practiced. Yeah. Uh, like And not just once. Not just once. And so after we put out the record it was like, okay, like 20, 30, man. Then we did another tour, it was like, okay, I think that's so it was pretty good for us. Then we played a festival and there was tons of kids, but no one was messing with us. And now we're on one tour and it was just like 50, 100, 150, 200, 300, 400. It's, it's like kind of a slow growth. Slow. Yeah. 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 So that's so sick. I can't wait to come back and see these guys at other shows. So they can like meet each other up for real. So stuff. Uh, and you guys have gotten bumped up a couple days. I know at least yesterday and today from Full Sail to Cycle Up. Uh, how do you feel like does, is it just like a different vibe being on like a different stage that you're not used to and just having a whole bunch of kids? It is. It's, it's a little bit uh, unnerving just because it's like family that you're not used to being around. Oh, no. The stage sound is different. You're still a child. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you're in everybody's way because you don't want to. Usually they are. Yeah. But I mean, it's, it's cool. Once you start to adapt to it, it's, it's a lot of fun. Over 
do it as much, so it's a little more nerve wracking knowing that like it's kind of like all eyes on us. You guys recorded uh, the video for a Simple Type in New York. Did you want it to just be like, because it was like you wanted it to be like a show and you just thought that because Warp Tour you'd get like a whole bunch of people could come out and... Yeah, I, I just really love bands doing what bands do best and it's just being a band. So I thought, yo, wouldn't it be dope if we let people see what Broadside's like? And so, like, personality-wise, I wanted all of that to shine. So I just thought it would be a good insight to like you know, what broadside's like, what we do on a daily basis, like every other band. I think people connect with that more because uh, this summer we all got the fans. Like yeah, we did it at the end of the day, but like we hated ourselves every day. It was, we're old, we're tired, we're sunburned, but like the only thing that kept us going was like that people really wanted to see us. So and no matter what time, 11 o'clock, 8.30, and everything in between. So I think honestly for me, I was like, well, I give them 25 minutes, they give me, you know, 14 hours of standing in the sun. And I think the video was a good reflection of that. So, uh, a lot of the songs on Old Bones are more like serious or have like a serious undertone. Do you want that to be kind of how most broadside albums are? Like to have like more of a meaning instead of just like a happy like I love pizza kind of pop yeah, punk? We don't love pizza, so I don't think to go after. Usually we don't love anything. So like Siri finding Chinese. Siri finding Chinese um, I think the way our records are gonna progress is that they're all gonna leave an impact on someone's life. Um, whether that's lyrically or spiritually. Uh, we really just want to hone in on like, we're fucking grateful for this opportunity. Why bullshit on anyone's time? We want to be a band that's forever, you know? So, like the Beatles. Uh, Damaged Kid seems to be a song that a lot of your fans connect to. Why do you think so many kids like chose to pick Damaged Kids? I think they like that song because I wrote that song to myself when I was 15 years old, you know? And I think I wrote Adult Ollie wrote a song to Baby Ollie, Teen Ollie. And I think that resonates because there's nothing better in the world than honesty. And I feel like a lot of people do feel broken and a lot of people feel curious about what they can potentially be. And the reality is you'll never know until you drag yourself through life. And I think that's why a lot of people uh, are hyped on that because there's a lot of like, hey, you're gonna get better, you know? And it's like, I'm not gonna be the person that's gonna tell somebody that that they're better than their current situation. I'm gonna tell somebody that they're better than the situation that they put themselves in. I'm gonna tell somebody that they're better than the skin that they're bound to. I'm gonna tell somebody that they're better than the parents that they were forced into this world by. You know, like, there are no rules, but for some reason everybody likes to make them tell you and remind you. But honestly, what's stopping me from, you know, kicking this camera right now? You know? And so that's a bad representation. But you know what I'm saying? Like, there's a weird, there's a weird bubble around a lot of stuff and I feel like, especially the youth, you know? Do whatever the fuck you want. It's okay and ask. So you guys have seen like about 40 or 45 dates. Where's your like favorite place to like? Uh, favorite place to like play? Yeah. Um, probably Boston. Uh, shoot that show. Is that the one with the pools at yeah. like Hard Rock Hotel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it flipping? There's a certain stage where it's like pools. Flipping? Catering is awesome. Like, the hotel is amazing. The stage is really popular. The AC, casino, so exciting. Uh, I would say my favorite is probably the walk. Just because the video is so sick. It was like right on the water. I totally just got my dad's chair out. I liked all those guys a lot, but I really liked Denver because I saw mountains in the background. And that was wild. Like imagine being like, yeah, and you look out and there's like a snow-capped mountain, and then that smell of Mary Jane, this is a bird, and then like a bunch of people like, that's what I was feeling that day. And honestly, and then we went to a vegan restaurant that fricked me the frick up fan. Water course. I love it. Uh, Dory Nigel, this is garbage game. <laughs>
Uh, and then I have one more question. Uh, I ask everyone, if you had to use a song or lyric of Broadside to describe Broadside to someone that had never heard of you, Damn. what would you choose? I would say... Uh, uh, for me personally, one of my favorite lyrics, it's corny. When you write it down, it's corny, but like deeper, it's cool. The lyric says, see the stars, chase the moon. And the reality is, is if you look up their stars, you know? You see a star, you see that, oh wow, that's amazing. The moon is farther. So it's like, you see this, you should go for this. Because you just brush past all that little shit. Right? Because there's temporary fulfillments in life. You find people and they make you happy temporarily. But no one ever seeks to make themselves happy. So they settle on relationships, they settle on muses, they settle on a life they don't want, and they settle on people they don't want. But I feel like you should always use those people to leverage you to get to what you truly deserve in life. It doesn't mean use people, it just means mingle, finesse, use your ability to have a conversation with somebody to get you where you deserve to be. And I feel like that there, it's corny when you write it on Twitter, I'll tell you. But it's, it means a lot to me. Uh, I have one question from a fan too. Uh, what's your favorite fan gift you've ever got? Fan gift? Yeah. Oh, this is tough. <laughs> Let's see, my favorite fan gift that I've gotten I was given uh, an interactive gray water wand that when you walk around Universal Studios that uh, do the certain spells that makes things so react. Um, you have to do them properly, which I like because you have to be a nerd in order to do it. You know, it's not just like the head or the um, splash. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cool. Thank you guys.